Hey everyone, Average Sniper here. Welcome to the video. Unfortunately, I have some bad news, but hopefully that doesn't stop you from smacking the like button. So PUBG recently announced um, that they will be shutting it down. There's no easy way to say this because this is the game we all know and love and nobody wants to hear that. So there it is. I ripped the bandaid off. The reason they are shutting down is because there are too many hackers and cheaters. They said that uh, they've done everything they can to control the game, and yes, they did admit, you know, that they were kind of lying to us, you know? Whoa, did you see that headshot? They were kind of lying to us about um, how good of a job they were doing uh, controlling the cheaters. And um, I guess so many people have complained and so many people have quit the game that they finally decided to just take PUBG offline. Now, will PUBG be coming back? I don't know. That's something that we might have to wait to see what happens on the next April Fool's Day. If you didn't, if you didn't figure that out at some point, that's your fault. I got you. Don't be mad. I got you. You should have figured it out. I'm like over here looking for my webcam. I'm like, where, where is it? Ah, there, there you guys are. You're in my webcam, aren't you? Anyway, sorry about that. Let me take a sip of my coffee. I have a Taylor Swift zombie coffee mug. What do you guys think about that? Is that probably the most awesome thing you've ever seen in your life? I don't know. It probably is. Let's be honest. <laughs> your life's not that awesome. No, sorry. It is. You're awesome. Your life's awesome. April Fool's. Oh. I just dripped coffee on myself. Anyways, welcome to the video. I don't know what this video is about. Because I already did the April Fool's. But since you're here... I'm playing in first person perspective. <laughs> now, I know that uh, third person players like myself are considered trash. But if you want to stick around and hang out with me while I drink my coffee and spectate myself playing this first person match and see what happens, I mean, feel free. Because it's always nice when there's a bridge block. Whether it's first person or third person, it's all the same game. I think it's kind of funny when I get comments from people um, about first person ver versus third person. It does make the game feel different. I will say that it's definitely a different feeling when you're playing first person versus third person um, and you have to play a little differently. You have to be careful about peeking you have to, if you're you if you're a third person player you understand what i mean it's different and if you're a first person player it might even be more different for you to go into a third person lobby because you really have to know your angles like first off i don't i don't believe that all third person players are trash that's just something toxic that people say in the community because i guess people get mad when people play a different perspective than them in the same video game i never understood that i never understood why people get mad because people play a different perspective than them i mean we're all playing the same game i i don't care i don't care if people like first person or third person i say play the mode that you want to play and probably most people are like that i think it's just the trolls um but there is that's if i was to name like the most toxic thing about PUBG, it would probably be um the the split between the third person community and the first person community on how to play the freaking game like who cares just headshot people out of cars like that it doesn't matter if it's first person or third person but seriously i think um that no matter what game you play or what community you're a part of whether it's gaming or something else. I think people just need some kind of conflict just to like get through the day. Like the day can't be perfect. You guys remember that scene in the Matrix where Agent Smith, okay, first off, I'm a nerd, whatever. I love the Matrix, whatever. You love the Matrix too. Don't lie, you know you do. And if you don't, what are you doing here? No, you you can stay here. You just need to work on your nerd game a little bit. Okay, so uh, that scene in The Matrix uh, with Agent Smith, he's got Neo held hostage and um, he talks about how the first Matrix was like this 
perfect utopia for all of humanity and they were and he was like but the, you humans rejected it he's like you couldn't handle perfection you know and he's like because you're a virus and you need conflict i don't think he said you need conflict but that was like the point of his whole little speech to neo was that humans can't function in like a perfect society they need some kind of conflict or war or at the very least they need like some kind of debate or arguments. And if you think about it, this applies to me too. Don't think I'm preaching to you. Don't think I'm saying this like, oh, I'm so above. I'm not. Everybody does this, even on like the subconscious level. They like create conflict, you know, with their friends, with their partners, uh, with whoever. People will just create conflict. So if you have a gaming community and it's all good and you're all enjoying the game and nothing's wrong, somebody's going to be like, but, but hold on. What about those dirty third person perspective players? Don't they suck? And somebody else is gonna be like, hey, yeah, F those guys, F those dirty third person players. And then the third person player is gonna be like, no, F you. And then the first person player is gonna be like, no, F you back. And then the third person player is gonna be like, double no, F you back double times. And they'll keep going back and forth until there's some crazy discourse happening between the community because people need to fight each other. So that's what I think it is, guys. Okay, instead of just enjoying PUBG, people need to find a reason to just, to just hate on people for whatever, you know? It's just, the human condition according to the philosophy and the psychology of the matrix so you know it's true obviously all right so that was my rant basically what i'm trying to say is if you're good at PUBG, if you've been playing the game for a long time you should be able to switch back and forth between third person and first person like without missing a beat especially if you understand how the corners work i think it'd be harder for a first person player to switch to third person and i don't mean playing first person in a third person lobby i mean actually playing in the third person perspective figuring out like the left hand peak versus like the right hand peak i think that would be uh pretty tough but i also think that anybody that's been playing PUBG for a long time should should be able to do this like no problem you know like why not it's the same game the camera angle just changes from behind your head to right in front of your head and i know it's just a little more advanced than that but not much not much when you aim down sight and shoot it's the same it doesn't change the only difference is when you're not aiming you see behind your head which lets you see around corners a little more and you have to understand how that third person peak works in order to function now there's a whole debate about there's more cheaters in third person or there's more cheaters in first person you know PUBG is filled with cheaters that's all there is to it i don't think there's any more cheaters in one mode um, or one perspective than another when i play in first person lobbies and third person lobbies i pretty much run into the same amount of cheaters granted i haven't played a lot of first person lately uh, but when i used to play it i would see the same amount of cheaters in first person as in uh third person lobbies but let's talk about what's going on in this gameplay here 25 alive and i think i'm on five kills my loadout is what is this car 98 yep car 98 and the p90 we have like a double bridge block going on here did you guys see that i was on the one bridge and now I'm on this bridge. Stopped and grabbed the care package along the way. So I actually, I did not play this match on stream. So most of the, oh my God, I have two coffee cups here. I just like grabbed the wrong one. I'm surrounded by, by coffee. Well, one, one is empty, but you know. Um, so I played these matches offline. Hold that thought, watch this. Yeah, I was hyped. I, I didn't have much time. I didn't have enough time to stream on the day I was playing this, but I had like an hour and a half to kill. So I was like, ah, I'll just sign in and play uh, in first person perspective just for kicks because I felt like something different. And honestly, I do enjoy the first person perspective. Um, and man, this turned in to a really good match. I really really enjoyed this match especially because it turned into a bridge block and it was on Erangel. totally felt like a classic PUBG match now we're down to the top 10 and it was kind of a kind of slow I guess kind of a slow ending here 
I got in one of the Harry Potter buildings. Do we still call these Harry Potter buildings? Me and my friends always call these little buildings on Erangel the Harry Potter buildings. Got that guy, 237 meters with the car 98. Nine kills and uh, seven alive now. I fast forwarded a little bit to skip the boring parts, but basically I moved from the Harry Potter tower to uh, this little house. I heard some footsteps, got a nice headshot or multiple headshots on that guy with the P90, bringing us up to 10 kills and five alive. So this is where it starts to get a little sweaty, but I will fast forward um, just a little bit here because nothing happens for a second. Pretty close to the end now. I'm still in the same building. I just upstairs a little bit. I fast forwarded to where the second to last guy had to run out in the open. Um, I did some uh, potato shots on him. Finally got like a midsection hit, but then he disappeared behind this tree and I couldn't figure out where he went. At this point, I was like, man, I really want to win just so I can put this on YouTube and be like, look, average sniper can play first person perspective. Okay. He can do it. You know, he's no average sniper. Sorry. Stupid pun. Stupid. You can hit the dislike button for that one. No, don't. No, do. No, don't. Hit the like button again. Switch it back. Switch it back right now. All right. 1v1. I decide to try and get on this wall because I'm pretty sure the guy is coming from the 80. But boy, was I wrong. Did I mention I saved up a lot of grenades for this last guy? Oh boy. I really wanted this win. There he is. Oh, he got cover right behind the wall. I'm a, I'm a, I decide I'm just going to throw five grenades. One, two, three, four. <laughs> I had another one to throw too. Let's just throw it. Five grenades. <laughs> 11 kills playing in first person perspective. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Smack the like button if you did, and hopefully you're not too salty about the April Fool's joke. Happy April Fool's Day, everyone. I'll see you later. Bye.